So I wanted to make a quick tip video on the reverse escalator because when I was learning it, I was watching tutorials and I was like, really, am I, am I doing this right? Because I feel like what I see from my perspective is not what I see them doing on the screen. And overall, what I was doing was pretty right. Um, but it looked funny. So, so when I was doing it, I would try and do it kind of slow motion and I would see the hoop be like this, in this plane, horizontal. But when you start from up here and you kind of drop it like that, you don't see this. So in one respect, it's not quite right. However, you can drop it for, from wherever you want, so it doesn't really matter. But it's the same motion. And you kind of throw it down and back, and then it bounces off your body and off of your neck. and. I felt that was weird because when you do the escalator, it doesn't ever go through your neck. So if I was really actually doing the reverse, I would have to get my arm up, but then do the same thing where you throw it down and back. Um, so now when I'm teaching the reverse escalator, I do like to start from here because I think it's a little bit easier. It requires some more control or trust to start from up here but it's the exact same motion. You're still throwing it down and back, and it does that weird bounce off your neck thing. Um, so if you wanna learn that by starting here and throwing it down and back, that's totally fine, and you're not doing it weird, really, and it's not wrong. So the motion isn't overall wrong. You're just starting from a different point, so it looks a little bit different, but you are well on your way to starting from up here and letting it drop from the top. So hopefully that helps and especially if you had the same question as me and if you did have the same question as me then extra props for finding my video because how hard is it to find that one thing you're looking for on the internet? It can be pretty hard. So um, good luck with your reverse escalator.